The ongoing water tank rollout program in the five impact villages within the vicinity of the LNG refinery is continuing. The program falls under New Power's community obligations, where it is trying to assist the locals in areas of need. Water is one of these essentials, and the company has been providing water tanks for the past three years, beginning with schools, churches, health facilities, and community centers. Councilor for Boyero West, Lohia Bodibo, acknowledged the support, saying it will go a long way in alleviating some of the village's water concerns. The community pays to fill up these containers under an arrangement. This is a relief from uh, new power to the community and it's very important. Although, well, like I say, it can be very, very small in its kind, but what's, what's in the tank, it's very important to this community. It's, a, it's life in the tank. This 9,000 liters uh, uh, value of the tank uh, that will uh, what contain the water, it's about 9,000 liters. But we have uh, been cutting the water, and the uh, water cuts has been uh, with the capacity of 5,000 liters coming. So we cannot really fill it up to 9,000 liters, uh, the capacity of the tank. So it's time we uh, buy a water cut. It costs us about 300 kina per water cut. And it has become very expensive uh, to the community because we want to recycle the water and. So that, that is why we are charging the community and it has become very, very burdensome to them. So, for example, a uh, container there, it's about two kina, uh, about a 20 liter thing, uh, container. So, uh, in the community and our household, uh, estimated it's about an average of 200 liter in a day for one house. So when we look at a 5,000 liter a day, we are talking about one day that 5,000 liters is going to feed about 25 houses. And the capacity and the population of this community as a whole is about more than 12,000. So you can imagine that Porebada needs more water. Community Liaisons Officer for New Power Limited, Bisia Gaita, thanked PNG Power Limited for its continued support in making these community projects fruitful. He said there are more water tanks to be delivered depending on how fast the communities can install them. Mr. Gaita assured the locals that the company is committed to continuing this and other programs as well within the impact villages. So this uh, program here that we are rolling out is very, very, like, like the councillor has said, it's small, but it's very sig significant. So my challenge or encouragement to the councillors and the community, please make use of this uh, program that we are rolling out, especially on the community's part of your uh, building slabs. Help, help the councillor when, wherever he allocates the catchment, those area people must all give a hand, support the councillor, because the company is providing everything. All you have to do is collect sand, stone, and build a slab. And, you know, the company has come even better this year, saying that if you are able to complete the issue given this year, we can go ahead and... Uh, get new ones. The tank was officially handed over to community leaders following formalities. Adult literacy trainings will also be conducted in Boyero Village. J. Herb Akia, NBC National News, Port Moresby.